Hi, I'm Mikolas, and I love tower defense games. Specifically, I love amazing tower defense games, where the tower placement adds another level of complexity, forcing the enemies to walk the long way around your splash towers, creating choke points, and so on. Unfortunately, there aren't really that many tower defense games these days. They were quite popular in the times of flash games, then as custom StarCraft and Warcraft 3 maps, and today we have some mixed genre adaptations like Orcs Must Die or Sanctum. I just really enjoy the pure top-down tower defense, which is just about planning out the tower placement, the upgrades, and not necessarily about my first-person shooting or RTS skills. So here it is, after years of being annoyed by this, I will try to make the game that I so wish to play, but that doesn't currently exist, myself. I haven't coded anything in years, so my skills are super rusty, so I start with something really simple, a basic enemy, a tower and it tries to shoot it, and after some back and forth with ChatGPT, I slowly got back into the syntax of GE script, and yeah, now I have an enemy and it can die oh, when it's shot by the tower. I should probably mention that I am using the Godot engine, which is just amazing, it's free, it's open source, and it's absolutely perfect for what I'm trying to do. Since I mentioned that the amazing is such a core feature of, of the game, I went straight into that, because if I can't get that working, there's no point to even continue working on it. I knew I would have maybe hundreds of enemies pathfinding the map at the same time, so performance is really important. And at the same time, I knew that the enemies can only move right, left, up or down in the grid. So I didn't want to use any nav meshes and navigation agents. Instead, uh, I started implementing my own navigation, where actually it's the tiles themselves in the grid which store the information about how to get to the end, the target. And yeah, it's really simple. I start with the end tile and I visit all the neighboring tiles and I tell them that me, this tile, the end tile is the next tile in the way. And then I do the same for the tiles I just visited. And yeah, recursively I visit every tile and yeah, that way every tile knows where to send the enemies and the enemies are not doing any pathfinding, they just ask the tile where should they go and then I interpolate their position from one tile to the next tile uh, based on their speed. I created some white particles which I spawn so that the player can see what's the current shortest path to the end and for debugging I changed the tile sprite to an arrow which rotates in the direction of the next tile, so that really helped me uh, find the little bugs which uh, were in the pathfinding code. I also made the pathfinding return a true or false, depending whether the end is reachable. And that's used when you try to build a tower. It first checks that the tile is buildable, and that uh, the target is still reachable once you build on it. So that way I can prevent the player from completely blocking the way to the end. The end always needs to be reachable and you cannot build on the tile if it would block it. Then I added some obstacle objects so that building the towers is a bit more fun. It's not just an empty grid, you have something to build around and take advantage of. I also realized it's quite annoying that you cannot see the range of the towers. So I created a dashed line which is drawn and scaled depending on the tower's range. Really the breakthrough for me where it started to be fun was when I added this lava lake to the middle of the map because the four pillars alone uh, were not enough to make them amazing fun. But now with this lava pool you need just a few towers to create an interesting path for the enemies so really that, that, that made it a lot more fun for me to playtest. As you can see I've also started working on the UI, so now the enemies won't start spawning until I click uh, to start the wave. 
And then I wanted to see how difficult it is to animate uh, the enemies. So I created basic walking animation. I spent a lot of time investigating bone animation until I realized that I can just animate the sprites directly, which is more than good enough for me. I just need them to walk. As you have probably noticed, this whole time I was playing with different sprites and looking for a style which I like. I should probably be playtesting just with some placeholders, but I really need to see things in a semi-polished state to get a feel for how it will play. I don't know why, but really I just needed to look at least somewhat nice right from the beginning. And at this point we are pretty much caught up with everything I've done, so let me just playtest the last build of the game. Uh, there are now three different tower types and I have wave system uh, which increases the number of enemies and I have two different enemy types. Uh, as you can see when I, uh, as I defeat the waves and the enemies I get more parts for more towers. Honestly I find it quite challenging and quite fun even though I'm the one making the game which I hope is a good sign. Uh, so it gets really tough really quickly, so my plan here is to block the way so that I force the enemies to walk uh, twice around my towers and then placing a splash tower right here, which I'll show you in a second. Yeah, unfortunately, the it really can be tricky to, to get it right, as you just saw, I almost forced all the enemies to walk past my towers, which would not be good. So now as as soon as I get 20 parts, oh no, I didn't get it in time. Okay, let's see if I can still, still make it. Like I said, it, it gets really quite challenging very quickly, which is the type of games that I like. Okay, now I have enough parts for this tower and this is a splash tower. It damages all the enemies in range even though it fires quite slowly, so it's really good for these dense waves of enemies. Uh, it would also be good to place it here and yeah, force the enemies to walk in a circle around it. And I also have this laser tower, uh, which shoots very quickly, uh, but with lower damage, so it's good for damaging enemies which are low on health. Uh, whether instead of just these projectile ones which shoot quite slowly. So yeah, this is the last wave which I have implemented so far. It's, it gets really intense really quickly with many enemies, but I think I got it. Yeah, there we go. This is it. I don't think there's any other waves after this. So yeah, this is, this is how it looks at the moment. There is a lot which I didn't go in depth about because I really don't know if this is interesting for anyone. For example, the way I can create the levels is really easy. I just have these two nodes which uh, work as the spawner and as the target and I can move them anywhere in the level and it will set the correct tile as the new target and the enemies will pathfind to it. Uh, then these obstacles just uh, mark the tiles as non-walkable, just like the lava pool, so that these tiles cannot be built on or cannot be used in the pathfinding. Uh, you can also have tiles which you cannot build on but can be stepped on, which could be used for some level dangers or some traps in the future. I also spent a lot of time investigating how the custom resources work in Godot, so that I can have easily configurable enemies and towers, make the game quite quick to add new content to it. The very last change I made is instead of the enemy having a health, which is equal, I don't know, 10, uh, there is a health component, and the health component takes care of everything as far as uh, di taking damage goes. And the plan is that I can then expand on this health component and make some enemies have armor or shields. But yeah, that's something for next time. I really just wanted to document the progress so far, even just for myself, because I felt like I was getting somewhere and I would love to share from time to time 
what I'm working on currently, but without doing this first video it wouldn't make any sense. So yeah, that's it. If you for whatever reason watch this far and you find it interesting and you also love tower defense games, just please let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks, bye!